What is up, Renaissance crew? I'm the original Renaissance man, Devon Da Vinci, and you're watching Da Vinci Reacts. Then we begin into another YouTube request. This request was done by Faith and Hope for Life. Uh, they wanted me to react to Jeremy Hotz. Um, the video you requested doesn't necessarily have a name. It just says Jeremy Hotz stand up. But you described in the comment that uh, he creates a persona on stage that complains about everything. So I'm guessing it's just like an old man screaming at clouds. But uh, anyway, let's go ahead and check this out, see what it has to offer. You guys know I'm trying to look into new uh, comedy acts that I'm not aware of, um, whether they be from America or from international. So uh, whatever, whichever comedians you think are absolutely great, go ahead and leave a comment uh, about them. Uh, make sure you put hashtag DaVinci Reacts. I have a little crawl up here every single day that I do or every single time I release videos there's a crawl up top, up top that tells you all the instructions on how to get a request to me as well as questions for a possible uh, Ask Da Vinci video so um, let's go ahead and get into this and see what it has to offer uh, just one thing if you are going to request a comedian make sure that it's somebody that brings their A game because if it's not a funny video I'm not going to be the one to blame for a video not being funny i will put all the responsibility on your shoulders and have everybody in the comment section attacking you so when you leave a, com a comedian request make sure it's a good comedian let's go ahead and check this out and see what it has to offer Doctor, here's jeremy Hutz. thank you very much for staring at my nose i uh <laughs> yeah, born with an elbow stuck to my face <laughs> I'm an ugly man, aren't I? <laughs> He's an ugly man, aren't I? Get a ruler and measure this son of a bitch right here. Got a high forehead all of a sudden. Lately, I've <laughs> been walking around like this, so people don't notice. <laughs> no, I'm not going bald. I'm just real optimistic about everything, yeah. <laughs> Losing the hair off my head. Get some new hair right above my ass at the back. Mm. What the hell kind of trade-off is that? <laughs> When am I ever going to use this? <laughs> Unless I become a television repairman. <laughs> it's true. What the hell is wrong with those guys? Your crack is sticking out of your pants, man. Can you not feel that? <laughs> Come here. <laughs> feel well at all tonight. I got a giant cold in my giant nose. <laughs> woke up and I went to breathe in. All I got was... <laughs> Good thing I woke up. I could have suffocated. <laughs> I'm asleep. I don't know. I can't breathe. I took that crap you stick in your nose to clean it out. That drist and nasal mist. Who designed that crap? You squeeze it. It goes halfway up. Then it just runs down your chin like that. <laughs> Has, have anybody ever had a situation where you've gone to sleep, woke up, and like one of your nostrils just like isn't working? Like you go to breathe and just like one nostril is breathing in and the other one's just like stopped up completely? You ever wonder why it's always one nostril and never both of them? Has there ever been situations where somebody has gotten like a nose, like congestion in both their noses and just could not breathe? And um, usually you probably make it, maybe you start breathing out of your mouth, but imagine if like you just like, suffocated has there ever been a story about that that sounds interesting i might have to look that up you try and push it back up with your fingers <laughs> then you give one of these to hold it and it <laughs> <laughs> then it hurts back here for some reason <laughs> what does this have to do with snot i'd like to know mm. starting to get cringy right now guts <laughs> you hate yours too, don't you? <laughs> Thinks he's so much smarter than you, standing there in his white smock with his pencils of knowledge in his pocket. <laughs> Gives me crap advice every time. Say, Doc, my leg hurts. Really? Keep off it. <laughs> Thanks for the hot tip, Quincy. <laughs> One thing worse than him is the dentist. What a miserable trip that is. <laughs> you gotta go twice a year. You know why? Because he tells you to. <laughs> There's no other reason. It's not in a book anywhere. That <laughs> making it up as he goes along. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see you in six months. All right. <laughs> Oh, 
The woman who cleans your teeth, what the hell is her problem? <laughs> I hate her guts. <laughs> You can be brushing and flossing every day. It's never good enough for her. <laughs> he sounds like a kid. Like, what the fuck is wrong with these people? <laughs> hey, it sounds like the She's complaints are emotional. Immediately. Your teeth are filthy. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to wreck your whole day like that. <laughs> you got a mask on? Clean them. <laughs> See the way your gums are bleeding? Oh, yeah, I can see it. <laughs> Maybe you can stop sticking those sharp metal things in it. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I got a little upset there. That's all. <laughs> I get a little angry. I go to a psychiatrist now. She hates my guts. <laughs> She says I suffer from delusions of sexual superiority. <laughs> she just wants to do me. <laughs> See, I'm all confused now. That's the problem. I'm from Canada, but I live in the United States now. I had to move. I had to go. And the Americans are so different than us. We all speak the same language, but they're just weird, aren't they? <laughs> Two countries on the entire continent, us and them. And they're, they're, we're very similar. I mean, we both have armies. <laughs> we just didn't give ours guns or anything. <laughs> Not an effective army. Here comes the Canadian army with plastic knives and forks. <laughs> Flee the village! <laughs> uh-uh, we're the good Canadians. We're not <laughs> tough. Look at our flag. It's a leaf. <laughs> they got a special forces that use sporks. They're oh, very don't effective. Screw with Canada. Efficient. <laughs> we'll dry up and blow away. <laughs> <laughs> you only fuck with Canada during two seasons. The others, they just change colors and disappear. Canada should just attack another country. Oh, man, no one would see that coming. A Canadian dictator. Greatest coup in military history. Lay low for 275 years. Then attack Turkey. Just show up. Guess what? We're taking it. And we're calling it chicken, you morons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw that lady. I saw that. Give it enough time. Watch her smell her fingers. And this was her argument. She goes, What if one of those illegal immigrants that we see in the neighborhood tries to break into the house and rape me? I'm like, What do your fantasies have to do with this? <laughs> Never hear your fat friend say something like, No, I really shouldn't. You walk with your fat friend, middle of the night, you want to stop for some pizza? Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah I like that. He, um, his, his, his style kind of reminded me of like somebody having a nervous breakdown. <laughs> like, it seemed almost like he was on stage actually giving out cries of help and people were just laughing at him. <laughs> and what's up with the goddamn dentist? <laughs> and motherfuckers just start laughing. Um, yeah, at first it got kind of cringy. It was a lot of snot and mucus talk. And it was like, after a while, was, you could just kind of feel your skin crawling. It's like, ugh. But um, as it went on, he uh, started tackling. Um, oh, really, it was just like, it kind of reminded me of uh, that whole Seinfeld stereotypical, hey, what's the deal with airline food? Like, he was, he just started complaining about just random shit. I'm looking at a picture of a very young Dave Chappelle. I'm wondering what's up with that. Um, but yeah, he, he started tackling just stuff that I guess everybody has an issue with. The dentist, doctors, things like that. Usually people that have complete control over the terms that you use their service for. Whether it's price or how frequently you should visit them or... Anything like that. You can also throw mechanics in there as well. They're very much similar <laughs> in that they can pretty much do whatever they want and you would not know it unless you are a part of that field. 
that that's a field that hell most people need to get into if there's one thing i recommend anybody learn to do it is learn to fix your own cars and learn about the medical history of your body as well as different ways to possibly treat stuff and i'm not talking about all that natural herb bullshit because while some of it is true and can work some people go a little bit too far and it's like oh you got a gunshot wound just 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 mix some ginger and some lime juice and then just put that on no that that shit's not gonna work um a lot of that can go with different types of cancers and viruses and vaccines god damn it stop with the goddamn anti-vaccine bullshit I mean, you're making it you're making it hard for us humans that want to ha- have a long, normal life, <laughs> because we are trying to get rid of these goddamn diseases, and you're like a giant loophole. You're a you're a big exception when it comes to diseases. When we finally get a chance to possibly wipe out chickenpox or AIDS or some shit, you're going to be the vessel that it can run to. Uh, for for refuge like when when there's nowhere else to turn to it's going to go into your damn body because you have no immunes immunities to any of this shit and th- well i'm just playing obviously i don't think there's a vaccine for aids <laughs> if there was then uh that, that would be probably effective right now but bottom line is a lot of viruses get into people's bodies and if you don't have the necessary uh vaccine shots and stuff like that to fight them then it's just going to go into your body and possibly mutate. And then when it mutates now to people that were taking vaccines to prevent the initial bacteria or virus or whatever, now it's not effective because it's went inside of your body and mutated. And now it's a completely different virus altogether. So like I said, you're just fucking it up for everybody else and possibly helping to create super viruses. So God damn it, get vaccined. All that autism bullshit isn't fucking isn't true and if it is true it's it's already happening <laughs> it's it, it's been happening it's 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 like whatever I, I i gotta look more into it before i can actually argue about the actual numbers but i do know that vaccines do have their purposes and they do work maybe most of them <laughs> maybe most of them. i don't know <laughs> Uh, I'm sure there's some vaccines that are in early stages that you might want to wait for them to do a couple trial runs before you go ahead and start volunteering for shit. But anyway, that's been this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and share. Um, I'm the original Renaissance man, Devon Da Vinci. Uh, again, I will have a link for where this uh, video comes from in the description box down below. So if you want to check out this video without hearing me talking over it or pausing or anything like that, uh, you can always check it out and watch it in its entirety uninterrupted so i'm gonna go ahead and move on Uh, i'm gonna give you the deuces and hopefully i will see you in my next video so deuces